Gentlemen, so great to have you here. It's quite an honor for all of us. But first of all, how have you been enjoying For the Love of Sci-Fi here in Manchester? Fantastic. The people were so nice to us. Um, just great. Thank you so much. How about you, Dolph? Have you been enjoying yeah, it? Yeah, it's been uh, wonderful. And uh, I was extremely busy. Thank you very much for uh, paying me all that attention. My hands, my wrist is very sore. And... Uh, I'm going to need some ice when I get home. But anyway, thanks for being so nice. Thank you. Thank you for being here, coming all this way. Yes, you can keep that applause going. We've been so excited to meet you guys. But obviously, we're here to talk about Universal Soldier. Tell us about you working on it and about you working together. I will leave that to... <laughs> Dolph first. To me? Because I want to rehearse. <laughs> yeah, we have to rehearse. Um, no, uh, look, um, I, can, um, I can say that I um, had seen a movie called um, uh, Street Fighter, no, Bloodsport, Bloodsport, and I, I heard of this tough guy from Belgium, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and this is a few years after I did the Rocky IV movie, and um, we were called up together to uh, Kurolko. Uh, to meet with the producers and the direct uh, producers first and I met Jean-Claude for the first time and I realized he was a very smart guy very clever with filmmaking and his own image and um, and then we got a few different scripts we didn't like the first one but finally they hired uh, Roland Emmerich this German director to uh, write a new script and it was quite good and then we approved it and we ended up working together which is the first time in my career that I had starred with somebody you know, on the same level. Because in the first movie, Rocky IV, Stallone was a big star and I was a nobody. And then I did Masters of the Universe, I was a star. And then I did another movie, I was the lead. But now I was working with somebody else. So it was quite interesting, I think, to have somebody, a co-star, like on the same level, you know, it was, it was nice. Do you remember that first meeting? Was it an instant connection, or what were your first impressions of Dolph? I first met uh, Dolph on the screen. Very impressive. Even his, uh, his first apparition in Rocky was uh, great. And then I knew also that uh, Dolph, in plus of being an actor, uh, is a real fighter, a real martial artist, right? And at that time, uh, all the uh, CGI screen, you know, all those special effects didn't exist. So I was happy to be able to be with an actor, an action character actor in terms of that, right? Um, because we're not uh, karate star anymore. We're making movies where we're playing action character type of people. So I play against a, I mean, we did together the uh, soldier, but I was very happy with him. He was, uh, he was amazing. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> there you are. Hey, <laughs> why is he looking so much younger than me? What's the problem? <laughs> you did something to the photo. Well, obviously a very physically demanding role, which obviously you're both very used to. What is it like in the training process and preparing for a role like in Universal Soldier? Um, first, go ahead. <laughs> now, first of all, Dolph is mentioning this guy and that guy. But let's face it. Today, if we make another film together, you know, like two tough guys, is that a better face right now? Yes or no? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you have to say it in front. You're shy, okay. Leave people, I mean, if you agree with me, just leave your hand up. Thank you. 50-50. What was the question? I, I didn't get it. I said if we make, if we make another film with those faces today, yes, yes. it's like strong. Yeah, I think so. Uh, no, well, well, look, in the old days, um, we had this big fight scene in the movie at the end. When we fight, we shot for two weeks in the rain. It had rain machines. So it was shot at night, so everything was real in those days. There was no visual effect, so we, you know, had to be in the rain, be drenched, wet, 12 hours every night for two weeks. It was really tough, 
It was a good fight, but I mean, it was a really hard phys physical feat. So I think today, I don't, not many actors would have that physical strength that you had to have in those days. You have to have the real, the real strength. You, you know, we did not use a lot of doubles for our fights at all. It was us doing it. And how physically grueling was that training for you, Jean-Claude, for Universal Soldier? How grueling was the training and the preparation for Universal Soldier for you? You know what was great? We did something. I always go on a circle. I never answer the, the uh, question right away. But on Soldier, we did have a truck. And inside that big truck, it was empty. We put training machines with mirrors so it looked bigger and air conditioning. So all the uh, soldiers were training there. It was like a nice spirit because between Dolph and I, it was all athletes, great guys, right? So it was, uh, that was the training. Me, him, and all those guys training nonstop. For lunch, we didn't eat. We took a protein juice, sorry, protein juice, and we did go to the gym and sometimes we fought to get the gym first. Remember? Yeah, and I was always worried that Jean-Claude's arms were gonna be bigger than mine. I was wor worried about that. So, uh, there are some scenes in a movie where we're almost naked, right, in this truck, at least bare-chested, and I think we both trained really hard to try to look uh, better than the other guy, but we both looked really good, I think, so it was worth the effort. I think you looked pretty good. Would you, get, would you agree, Manchester? I think you did all right, for sure. Well, we are going to introduce you to my friend Mel over here. Mel has the microphone, hence why she is your new best friend. Where is Mel with our microphone, please? Mel, microphone, hi there. <laughs> Thank you so much. So if you guys have a question for Dolph or Jean-Claude, please raise your hand. There's so much to discuss in their illustrious careers. We're going to go to the front row here on the right first. Hi there. Hi. Um, it's a question for both of you. If you were to meet your own idol, like we've all met here today, what would you ask them and why? What was that again? Sorry. If you were to meet your own hero, idol, what would you ask them and why? Oh, my own hero, idol. <laughs> well, I think the one that I remember from when I was a kid was uh, Clint Eastwood, was my hero. And I would say, hey, you got a job for me, Clint? <laughs> I'd like to win the Academy Award and make a lot of money, you know. Please, find a nice job for me. Um, yeah, that's me. I'll do anything. I'll clean your trailer, you know, I don't care. Extra work, maybe? Yeah, extra cleaning. work, yeah. yeah. Go. Get you a coffee. <laughs> um, hi. Oh, here. Like, I didn't yes. know Jean-Claude wanted to answer the idol There's hero question. Jean-Claude, did you want to answer about what would you... Uh, well, first of all, I saw, I love, I know he's, but I love Bruce Lee. He was, the, to me, the uh, Jimmy Deans of Asia. And he was elegant. And... He knew he was acting since he was 13 on stage with his parents, right? And uh, I was totally uh, crazy about him. And then about Stallone, the first Rocky, right? But uh, with the age now, I'm appreciating people like Jack Nicholson because our tastes are changing. And uh, yeah, that's it. But at, at that time, I wanted to make a movie I will play a horse in the film. Of course. I was so hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Great question. Thank you. We have another one here in the front row yeah. on the right. Hi. Um, hi. Sorry for my bad English, okay? <laughs> um, my mom loves you too, but especially Dolph. So this question is for you. Um, my mom is a Spanish karate champion and she wants to know if you keep practicing Kyokushin Kai. Oh, thanks. Um, <laughs> yeah, actually, I used to train with the Spanish karate team in Madrid uh, many years ago, for, for about 10 years with them. 
Um, thank you. Yes. Now, the Spanish are very good in, in martial arts, actually. Um, you know, I, I practiced uh, Kyokushin karate for about 40 years, a little more than 40 years. Now I don't do that much. I do a little bit of kata. I do the stretching. I hit the bag a little bit. I don't do any of the sparring because I have a lot of injuries. And this is going to get better, but I have to watch myself a little bit. And um, I still like the spirit of martial arts, but I don't need to express myself that way so much anymore. I feel like I've, I've moved past that a little bit in my life. I do, you know, regular training, but I think, um, you know, martial arts is about being a better person, about respect for yourself, for other people. Um, and I think that's the most important part of it for me now. Okay? Gracias. Thank you. We've got another question here in the front row on the left. Hi there. Hi, I um, just want to ask a question uh, for my brother who couldn't be here today. Who is your favorite character you have ever played for both of you? Favorite character you've ever played? Favorite character? Jean-Claude. Go ahead, you go ahead, man. I, it, it's hard to do, I mean, I mean, it's hard to say because, you know, when you're acting, it's really not good. To play a character, you've got to give your life a background story. You know, when I was born, a brother, a sister, I was arrested. Anyway, then when you come to the movie, the first close-up, even if it's shot at the end of the movie, because sometimes casual problem, rains, wind, but the first close-up is the most important in the movie, because for months, you've been creating a character and you, you, you look like Jean-Claude Van Damme, but the eyes are not JCVD. If it's, so every time I make a movie, I put myself into a character. I play a guy who was more honest than me in real life, right? And so I don't know which movie is best because I believe into my character, but the director has to do his job Everybody, including all the way to promotion, the theaters, and that's not easy today. But I like all my movies, all of them. Do you have a favorite, Dolph? There's so many. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, there's a lot. But I, I, I agree with Jean-Claude that you, you know, Sometimes a film itself could be more successful because of a, more, a bigger budget, better director, better story. But I think you have to, and like Jean-Claude said, respect all the characters you play because you put a lot of work into it, whether the film does well or not. So I think um, the proper attitude is like, yeah, all my characters you know, you have to show them all respect and you have to love all of them, I think. You know, and when I look back, it's the same thing now. Like, you know, some movies may, I might, may like better, but I think all the characters, I realized that I, it took a little piece of me every time I played it, one of those guys. Thank you, great question. We've got one over here on the left, a lovely gentleman in the blue coat. Who's the best fighter out of you two? Who is, who is the best fighter out of you two? Who is the better fighter? I've got, I've got your answer. I run faster than him. Especially with my foot, man. There's boot on. I have no chance. I can never catch him. He'll kick me in the head and run. So he's going to beat me for sure. That was a controversial question. Give a round of applause to this lovely gentleman for that. We've got a question all the way here in the back with his hand up. Thank you, sir. Hi, you talked about uh, maybe doing another film together. Would you maybe have uh, pitched an idea to you, Ivan from No, Sur no Surrender against Ivan Drago? That was a silly question, I know, but I just wanted to ask It's that. not a silly question. I'm advising you tonight to go home, yeah. 
give us like about 15 pages synopsis. Okay. Hold on, I'm not finished. Put your name on it for the copyright, at okay. least. Put the paper into a, a newspaper from uh, England, so you have the date, and mm -hmm. send that paper to you, so you have copyright. Then send that to me and Dolph. We'll take a look at it, and then we'll talk to the agents. Okay. There good, you go. Good. <laughs> and then, uh, then we'll come back and ask you for 50 million to make the movie. I think that's fair. Definitely. Family. We've got a question here in the front row. <laughs> Hold your family hostage for the money. Hi. Um, being fluent in languages other than English, have you ever had, uh, when films are dubbed into, for, uh, into other languages, have you dubbed your own voices or have they brought other people in to dub you? And if they've brought in other people, have you ever sort of like gone, what the heck, that's not me, why on earth would I sound like that? It's to me the question, to me the, both. Can I start? Yeah. I go right away. So no, it's kind of uh, funny, but they're, they're, using, they're using, like, I speak English the best I can, right? Uh, normalement, je parle français. But they're using a guy like me, you know, a, a guy who speaks French in, in, in France, is the same guy for all my movies. But he passed away. Now they have another one. But it's kind of funny to see it's not your voice. It's always better to do your own voice. But I cannot speak in Swedish or any uh, other language, right? So I regret it on a movie called JCVD because the translation was completely off. Your turn. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, Jean-Claude. I, I think I, they used the same guy, you know. So somebody who was maybe in their 20s, you know, when I was in my 20s, he maybe he did Rocky IV, and then he's doing, you know, movie after movie after movie. But um, I know in Spain, I, I saw, because I lived in Spain for about 15 years, so I, I man, you know, I caught some of my movies on TV. And, uh, you know, the guy did not progress his style of read. His, his Spanish was very, he, he sounded a little too macho. Uh, he was like, uh, Buenos dias. Uh, <laughs> Mi nombre es Dolph Lundgren. It was like a little too much. It, it was a little comical. I was trying to do some more dramatic roles, but the vo voice was still the same. Buenos dias. So it was a bit funny, but um, anyway, apart from that, I'm sure that guy, I, I hope he doesn't hear this. So he did a good job. You know, I'm sure he worked on it very hard. <laughs> Just between us. <laughs> yes, round of applause. We have a question here on the left from this lovely gentleman here. Hello. This is to both of you. Uh, what was your favorite memory? Your favorite memory from Universal Soldier? Yeah. Okay, favorite memory from filming Universal Soldier? Uh, me? You want to start? Um, I, think, uh, I think my favorite memory was maybe the camaraderie that we developed because I did not know Jean-Claude at all. You know, we were young and a little competitive, you know, when we first started. And we were a little bit like, oh, I, I hope I can look better than him, maybe, you know. Like we said, I hope his arms aren't as big as they looked in the movie that I saw him in. <laughs> but, you know, we developed this camaraderie, so by the end of the film, we have this final fight scene, and we had a lot of fun with it, actually, you know. Remember? Yeah, yeah. You're me. Yeah, you too. It's, it's ready or not? <laughs> no, because between every shot, I want to make my arm big, as big as his arms. So I was doing push-ups, you know. And then he said to the director, he's not ready, come on, JC. It was like, it was push-ups nonstop between scenes, you know, to stay as big as possible. Yeah, to making a lot you. of jokes. We're, yeah. make, we're, we're fighting in the movie to the death, but we're joking in between. Because it was so wet, and we're so, it was so cold, and it was middle of the night, and you had to joke, otherwise you're going to start crying, you know, so. It was a fun. Joke on the side, huh? When we come home at night, you know those hits? Okay, in a fight you get hits one and a little harder. 
but he can control, I can control, but sometimes you get hit hard because when the camera starts to roll, you click, especially him and me. No, because we have that uh, fighting spirit, so we want to show that's all we have right now, in a sense. We're not yet Jack Nicholson, right? So we push. The problem is, one more time, one more time, this angle, that angle, so it's like 10 kick. One will be cut in the, in the editing room for the, for the theater, but nine of them will be on the band, right? So you come home, you have Bruce. Your, your neck is stiff because when he punched me, I got go, bam, you know, yeah. again, bam. And so it's, it's not, it really hurt, those movies, <laughs> right? I agree. But I can also say that, you know, I've done movies with a lot of actors and, you know, I've done 80 some movies now. And, you know, but it's the films where you fight somebody on screen, like Stallone or Van Damme or, you know, when you have those weeks of, being physical, you, you, you create a certain, um, a certain bond that's, it's not like just acting with somebody, speaking. It's when you're physical, you throw each other around and you're, you know, it's different. And I think that that's kind of, um, it's, it's special. And it hasn't happened to that many actors in my career, just a few. You know, Jean-Claude is one, you know. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate Thank you. that answer. Thank you, guys. We've got a question here on the right, right over here. Hiya. Um, hello. Um, could I, I wanted to ask you, so I play for the B team in my football school, so I don't have a celebration, so could you two give me a celebration to do? And that'll be my signature celebration. Could you, a signature celebration for your football school? Yeah. Football for, team. So if I score, then I'll do the celebration, and it'll be my celebration over the years. Belgium, my team was... Out like, I mean, we, <laughs> but it's a team, you know, it's a young team. It's between the old team and they're going to they're gonna be good in a couple of years. The problem is when we create people like the company, um, uh, who's that guy with the red hair, Manchester? Um, huh? A lawyer? Yeah, yeah. Well, Whatever, we, we have few champions. Hey, Marc! Marc? C'est quoi le champion avec ses cheveux rouges? Ah? No, 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 football. He said Canelo. No, le blanc avec ses cheveux rouges. The Norwegian guy. Yeah, think about it. I keep on talking. Anyway. Are you speaking of Pelé? No, I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> but the problem, like, for example, it's in, only 80. In Sweden or Belgium, it's a small country. And then when we have those champions, they become big. Our club, they can pay them eight, nine million dollars. Then the big club like Barcelona or Manchester, they take those guys because they give 20, 30 million, and they come to your, uh, which is great. I'm not saying Belgium help you to win. All I'm saying, no, it's different. <laughs> I love football, sorry. I'm patriotic. He's trying to tell you. Yeah. De Bruyne. Oh, De Bruyne. De Bruyne is in Manchester. Yeah. Give him a round of applause for helping, by the way. And a round of applause wishing you the success in football as well. What's your celebration? What's your celebration? Like a, a specific move? I have no idea. I'm American. I don't know what a football celebration is over here. Anyone? Uh, you took a football cup? Football? Like, like something but to do at the end? Something to do to win? Or like a cool move to celebrate? Oh, like a signature move when you want to celebrate. We do that in American football. So if he wins, he wants to do something cool that you've told him to do. A well, move that, that's or, more for Jean-Claude. You know, he's much cooler than me, you know, so I can't do those things. Well, we're wishing you success. Give a round of applause. Thank you. All the success I didn't get for you in question. football. Yes. All I, all I can tell you, my friend, he wants us to do like a physical move. I think a physical move, right? Listen, I have something to tell you. The most important in life is to always stay as flexible as possible. With the age, flexibility less. 
So you have to play on your flexibility. And if you get a little tight with your tendons, you have to accept that. The time don't stop. Clock don't stop. But why I'm saying that to you, I live, you have to stretch on a daily basis. And I live on the 75th floor in Hong Kong. So the elevator take exactly a minute, right? So take this. When you do this, you open your lungs. So I'm in the elevator, right? Push the button, and I just go like this, and I relax myself, right? And my, my stomach open, but I know the minute, I know the minute, right? I relax, I grab my heart, and slowly go like this, and slowly like this, and then back straight. Okay, I'm open, and I do this two, three times a day. Another thing I want to do for your heart, I'll show something very simple that people don't do it and we all do it. When you walk, don't walk like this. Just turn, turn your arms like that. You will be unable to close that cage of yours. So if you walk like this, like, like Stallone does, no side, Very good advice. Thank you so much. We love that. We know you have a couple more things to sign. So just a final question for me. Your final thoughts on For the Love of Sci-Fi Manchester and perhaps what you're looking forward to and if you have any upcoming projects or what are you doing after you leave Manchester? Hello. Um, you know, uh, uh, final thoughts. <laughs> no, it's been great to see Jean-Claude. Haven't seen him for many years and um, nice to see all of you again. Uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, well, let's see. I'm going to Norway to uh, s celebrate Christmas with my beautiful fiance over here and her parents, Emma. Give it up for Emma. And, then, Anna, Anna, say hello to the people. <laughs> That's Anna. Emma, Emma, Emma. And then we're going to Sweden for New Year's, then back to Los Angeles, and I have a little movie I directed, Emma and I produced together, called Wanted Man, that I'm doing post-production on. And next year, I will be appearing in uh, Expandables 4, and Aquaman, and uh, yeah, Expandables 4. <laughs> And Aquaman, a sequel to Aquaman as well. So, so I have a few things. That's how I messed up my foot last year by uh, doing some action stuff. And uh, anyway, so it's going to be a good year and uh, look forward to it. And hopefully to see Jean-Claude again soon. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be, uh, I'll be shooting a movie for, for Christmas. <laughs> for real uh, before Christmas and then we'll take uh, Christmas uh, night and uh, day off and then we'll uh, shoot after Christmas to New Year in Los Angeles and then I'll, uh, I will try to do I will try my best to do a big martial art film with a lots of uh, martial arts figures Basically, it will be like a blood sport in the dark web. Yeah. Awesome. So much to look forward to, and we're wishing you continued success. What an honor it was to have you guys here. On behalf of Manchester and Monopoly events, it's been amazing. Another thing for me and Dolph, truly, it was sensational. What we, we won next year is like 10 times more people. Biggest star coming here to have a lots of fun, it was very enjoyable. We need to bring more people here to make it even more enjoyable. Okay, guys? Well said. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep the applause going for John claude Van Damme and, and Dolph Lundgren. Lundgren. Thank you.